Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have a swarm right here I've cut out around. Talk to an old timey beekeeper, man 77 years old, been keeping bees 64 years, was telling me about making a ramp for his bees to slide off into the box. Well, I've got it all cut out. I've got the boxes down here. Thunderstorms coming in, so I don't want to leave them in, leave them laying here. So I've sprayed them down good with both sides of the sugar water. Hit them again. We're going to tighten that up. Tie it off. And we're going to try what I'm going to call the honeybee slip and slide. If it works, great. If it don't, you'll never see this video. Does that sound fair? This is going to be fun. I can already see the failure. Already see the failure. But Like I said, I'm going to give it a try. I don't think this old timer would lie to me. I was up visiting another beekeeping friend of mine today, and this old timer come by to talk, and he was telling us about this very thing. And I get home, and I've got this sitting in the yard. Who's ready to see the magic? Well, here goes nothing. Ready, one, two, three. Well, it didn't slide too well. Yeah, and I'd say I didn't get the queen either. What do you think? Get these girls wet again. See, do I have anything so I don't get stung? I guess wet bees and wet signs do not go very well, but got to go give them another shake. Here we get them.
Well, she's not in there. We'll worry about that tomorrow. But right now, Right now, I do not see her. Let's see now, let's see what we got. That's the last of them. Well, I do not see her anywhere. I'll come back at it first light, see what I have up there. Still got a few. But that's what I call the honeybee slip and slide. Even though they didn't slide very well because they were soaked down with sugar water. Said so we'll come back out here tomorrow after the rain. Oh yeah, they're down there fanning at the entrance, so I think I got her. They are down there fanning at the entrance of the hive. So I think I got mama. That's what I call the honeybee slip inside. Thanks for watching Wooly Bees. Hit that like and subscribe button down there. Hit that bell, get a notification whenever I do something stupid like this. I would have waited till first light if it hadn't been for the storm thunderstorms coming in tonight. You guys have a great night. I know I'm going to. Until next time. Wasn't that some crazy stuff? That old timer told me that today. Man's been keeping bees 64 years at the no. 60, 67 years. And he just told me about that making a ramp for him to slide down. And here I ended up needing it. I got to break in my new inspector's jacket. 
bought it last year because my old one ripped in the front. Carried it with me a time or two and never needed it. You'll see a video from that gentleman's house where he had a swarm up in the tree. Eventually coming after this one sometime. Where I'm catching the swarm. I've got it in the bucket or in the box. I'm fingering through the bees. It's a good one. You'll see. I think I'm wearing this shirt still. And nothing on. But this was cool. I was, wasn't about to do that without a jacket though. Thanks for watching Wooly Bees, guys. It's been an interesting night. Hit that like and subscribe like I said earlier. Have a great day because I know I'm going to have one. See you next time.